I'm Nancy Red, and you're watching HuffPost Live, and this is a story that is hitting a nerve, or should I say spanking a nerve. On the education vertical, here to talk with me about the expansion of corporal punishment in Texas and spanking kids and teens in general, we have on set with me the lovely and brilliant Emmeline Zhao, who you are, a Huffington Post Associate Education Editor. Mm -hmm. And in our Google Hangout, we have Deborah Sendick, Program Director at the Center for Effective Discipline in Columbia, Ohio. We have Dr. Jane Greer, a relationship expert and marriage and family therapist in New York City. Judith Schamberg, a former teacher. And Michelle Price, a radio manager and mama in Houston, Texas. School district in Texas expanding corporal punishment policy. And this isn't the first time something like this has come up. But oh my goodness, it's blowing up on the education <laughs> vertical. Why is this so hot? This is the biggest story of the month. Right. Well, stories about relationships between teachers and parents and how best to educate and best to discipline a child is always, always going to be a hot issue um, because you have the dynamic between what happens at home and what happens at school and how that kind of plays together. Um, and so I think that this one's really hitting a nerve because especially when you have, you know, a teen um, embroiled in the situation and a lot of emotions involved, there's going to be a strong response to that. I can tell you that I taught in California, Massachusetts, and New York, and if you look at that map, you can see I never taught in a, in a state that permitted corporal punishment. But I remember, and now this is going back 15 years, but I remember during the, the training where we were discussing methods of discipline, uh, we, were, we were asked to raise our hands if we could ever see ourselves using corporal punishment. And the hands were down in the room. There was not a single person raising their hands. And we were told that, that when they surveyed teachers at the Teach for America Institute about whether or not they would use corporal punishment, um, the numbers that said that they would were always very, very low. And for those teachers that wound up going to schools that permitted it, after two years when they were surveyed, the, the numbers who actually had used it were much higher. And um, so it just, what it told us was that when you are in um, teaching in a culture where that is expected and that's the norm, it becomes incredibly difficult, even if it's your own personal value, not to use corporal punishment, it becomes very dis difficult to discipline without using it. I'm probably one of the few mothers in Texas who does not approve of spanking children, so maybe I need to move. <laughs> I've always felt that it was a very immature and lack of ability for you to find out a way to connect with a child if you had to resort to hitting them to get them to behave. And the interesting thing is my son's now 30 and I now have grandchildren. And one of the things that I notice is even my son gets frustrated sometimes with them when they're really little. And he goes, I don't understand what to do. And I said, talk to him. You know, they are human beings, and amazingly, they understand a whole lot more than we want to give them credit for. And we have seen teachers actually leave school districts uh, because the school district has used corporal punishment and has asked teachers to use it. And we've seen teachers that have actually left those school districts. And uh, people agree with the fact that the, that the corporal punishment... Uh, in the comments, they don't think necessarily that's the best thing. We've got wonderful commenter, My Accessible Life. If there's spanking to be done, that is the child's parent's responsibility. I need to hear from you because I have a 14-month-old and, you know, we're not at that level yet. But I need to know what is the downside? First of all, you're talking about wanting to help children and teenagers learn inner control, learn how to curb their own acting out behavior, the behaviors that get them into trouble in the first place. And so looking to teach them how to exercise better judgment, how to develop it and ultimately exercise it, is not going to be accomplished by instilling fear, which is all that corporal punishment is about. Even the behaviorists who work with animals and pets know that the way to help animals and, and, and children learn is through positive reinforcement. What if spanking works? And there's uh, it was hard for the author to find someone to go on the record and say that they spanked their kids. And the one person that they found, he said, I can't lie, my wife and I do spank our daughters, I'm not ashamed of it. 
But at the same time, I can't say that around everyone. It's a serious thing, man, and there are some people out there who'll think you're a beast if you admit to spanking. And it is interesting. What we see oftentimes is parents will say, no, I don't believe in spanking, I don't believe in hitting. Um, and I think when we use the word spanking and those types of things, it almost makes it a whole different issue. It is hitting. It is hitting. Um, and Can you so differentiate? What's the difference between spanking and hitting? I, I, spanking is hitting. 